we have this flash USB drive that came in yesterday. A uh, customer brought it in for data recovery. Uh, the computer does not recognize the drive, and there's no signs of life when you plug the drive in, in the computer. Now, upon first uh, inspection, I do see that the tip is a bit loose. But the first thing I want to do is I want to take it apart and take a look on the inside. Where's the other piece right there? Oh. So this is the circuit board for the USB flash drive. I do not care about the components on the board for now. But I want to look at the connector. I want to look at the weight. Look at this. Look at this. So I see uh, broken pins one right here look at this this should be soldered onto this uh, i cannot tell if this is loose or not uh, this one looks broken off so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this connector off we're gonna clean up this area and we're gonna try to solder this back onto those four pads now if the pins are broken off this we may need to run wires from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. And this is done from the back. We do not have to give the drive back to the customer. We just want to be able to back up his data. So let's start working on this. So we're going to be working with those four pins right here. No connection at all. Look at this. The pin is totally broken off. What about this one here? Same with this. The connector is stuck on the pad. So no connection from here. No connection from here. The same with this. And the same with this. We have uh, two more joints. Right there. The soldering jobs on those boards are just awful. It's a cheap USB drive. I'm going to apply a low melt solder and then pull the connector off. What's bothering me is this connector is so light it's moving all over the place. I have the PC board holder. I do not know where I misplaced it. Anyway.
Okay, so let's try to pull the connector off. And now it's off. What's nice about the low melt solder is when you apply the solder, it stays soft for five, six seconds. So I do both joints and I pull off on the connector and it comes right off because the solder is soft. That way we do not have to use the hot air station and possibly damage in the board. I want to check to see the back of the USB connector. So we have three broken pins of the connector. We have one of them here, but there should be three more. Okay, right here. So we have one here, which is visible to us. And the other ones are actually deep inside here. I'm gonna put some, some solder on those connections and then I'm gonna run wires from here to the board. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, I think I'm gonna be using something like this to hold the connector because it's very light. Raise up my microscope a bit so we have more room to work. And that's what I like about this microscope. You can have it as high as maybe two or three feet. Of course, the, the closer you are, uh, the, the closer the image is. But, you know, we are right now, we are about uh, probably 10 inches high. And works great. Look at the image. Look at this. Okay, so where's our connector? Okay, so this wire is connected, that's good. Okay, so let me cut off the length, maybe make it like two, three inches long. So the next one is going to go right over here.
Okay, that's wire number two. We're gonna cut it to about two or three inches. We have two more wires to go. The third one is gonna go right over here. Okay, so our third wire is connected. Okay, this is just uh, these two are the pins that hold the connector on the board. We do not care about those pins. So number three is connected. And then finally we have number four. and that's number four so all four wires are connected so that's how our connector looks like now we're gonna run those four wires onto the board I just need to strip the top So this is pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 4. That's one. Let me try to apply more solder. Do the same here. So we have two pins connected. This is our third one. So that's number three. And that's number four right here. Hopefully, if we plug this in the computer right now, it's going to work. So let's find out.
okay uh it says drive not recognized and the reason is is because one of them got loose one of the wires got loose so we have to solder this back on again Actually, uh, the wire got loose of the connector and not of the board. Do we have a connection now? Yes. And we want to make sure the wires are not actually touching each other. Okay, that's good. Let's try again. It's working. Okay, so let's plug this in. Our fancy USB drive now. Look at this, as soon as I plug it in, it turns red, it's reading. And it's recognized on the computer, and now we can see the files. So right there, 16 gigs. And if we click on it, we can see all the files. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye.